Okay, so first off, what you want to do is download that one um, zip file that's in the description, and when you open it up, you'll see that there is uh, these files. That this is the Halo text, and in order to view these, you need Firefox. So, and this is for grunge brushes, and that's for renders and you'll see a Siggy template so go ahead and open up the Siggy template and the halo render or you can go to planet renders and find your own render you want to use and so i'm going to open up the render too So, when you're downloading the Halo thing, when you open the readmes and stuff like that on how to download it. So, go ahead and download that while you're opening up everything. And in order to view these, like I said, you'll need Firefox. So, And also, don't delete these two files. It's important so you can open it. Okay. Go ahead and scale down your render. So in order to do this, press the scale button. And now scale it down. Make him about half the size. Now once you have them scaled, go ahead and click on your Siggy template and hit Control L to open up your dialogs layer. So now that you have that open, you want to go under filters. Uh, uh, render, clouds, plasma. And have turbulence at 7.0. Press new seed however many times you want to and hit OK. And then you want to go under colors, desaturate, and hit average, desaturate. Now go ahead and download some grunge brushes and start using them. For this tutorial, I'm going to only use about three. Now when you're using the grunge brushes, you want to switch in between. So like from black and now white, and I'm going to use a different brush. And now back to black. Now back to white. Okay, now what you want to do is duplicate the layer so hit duplicate and now hit lighten only wait a minute okay now that you have lighten only go under dialogs or filter sorry a uh, blur gaussian blur and have it at 5.0 for both uh, bl blur method rle hit ok now it's going to give this cool looking glossy effect. That's what we want. Go ahead and merge down the layers. Now go ahead and for your render, copy and paste. Now paste. Or, or you can, to make it easier, you might want to create a new layer. So go ahead and create a new layer and name it render and hit OK. And now paste. Okay, you, you're going to have to uh, maximize it. And now that you have them there, I'm going to make them big. Okay, now just anchor it down. 
Now what you want to do is duplicate him. Uh, open up your layers dialog. Layers. Now duplicate. Now go under filters. <laughs> blur. Motion blur. For length at 256 and angle at 45. Hit OK. Now what you want to do is copy and paste. Select all. Now edit. Copy. Now paste. And now just keep doing this until you fill the whole screen. I'm hitting control V for a shortcut. Okay, you can have a little bit space opening, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and close out your render. I don't want to save. Okay, now the render copy, bring it right under here, render. And now for mode, hit overlay. And now it will show that right there. Now you want to go under, make sure you have your... Um, render copy selected and if you want to you can brighten it up or you can um, you can uh, make it lighter brightness will brighten it up like make it not a lot and contrast will will make it darker I'm trying to use this just for my background. I'm going to use this just as my background, so I'm going to hit OK. If you want to, you can have, you can go under colors, colorize, and colorize it to certain colors. But I don't really want to, so I'm, then you want to hit OK. Mm. Now go ahead and insert your text, and you can do the same thing. And if your renders a little bit blurry or you want to darken or lighten him up you just do the same thing brightness contrast uh, first you want to select him in the uh, layers dialog now go under colors brightness contrast now you can make him brighter I want it so it'll be like he was just hit There we go, hit OK. Okay, now that you have that done, I want to add an insignia at the top. So I'm going to use my other grunge brush. Um, this one. And change the color. Now I want to go under layers, render copy. And hit that. There. So that's pretty much it to the tutorial. Uh, just do the same thing and save your work as a PNG. And if you want to backup copy to edit it later, edit it layer later, just go under File and Save. As save as so that way you will be able to keep your Siggy template. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.